Mom used to tell me to stop when I got to the curb, slow down. Cars are coming fast now. So when I walk, I always hear her in the background. These memories are really all I've known. So if I had a genie, I would wish to go back home. Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is straight out of Boston, your AKA the King of Boston, and oh my goodness, we have another Manny being Manny episode. Now, first things first, yeah, he's on the Kansas City Royals. He was traded back, so okay. First off, we've skipped ahead to the end of season two, just because this is going to be kind of the proper finale. I wanted to give Manny a proper ending to this series. So, we've kind of skipped ahead. I played till the end of the 2013 regular season. I simmed the last, like, two weeks up until this game. This is the last game of the 2013 regular season. Now, back at the trade deadline, we were traded along with two other eight potential prospects from the Red Sox for Alex Gordon. So, the Red Sox wanted a upgrade at left field, even though Alex Gordon isn't that much better. I should say an upgrade at left field. Is it an upgrade? Yeah. So, anyway, they wanted a slate upgrade at left field and they got Alex Gordon out of it so Manny is on the Royals now he's wearing number 99 I put some of his uh, Dodgers you know stuff he wore when he was on the Dodgers as his accessories because I don't know Royals Dodgers similar colors such but this is the last game unedited going up against James Shields and the Tampa Bay Rays and you can see his first at bat here we're going to line this one to right field however it will be caught by the right fielder so this is episode 12 of the Manny Being Manny Road of the Show. I haven't posted episode 11 was, what, three weeks ago? So it's been a while. This is really the formal ending. I'm not going to be posting any more Manny Being Manny episodes. So 12 episodes was pretty good for a series length. We got two years in. So, you know, two years is pretty good, especially considering we started ours really late. So that's good. I'm glad we got a couple years in. Hopefully next year, if we start around the time when MLB 13 comes out, we'll be able to get really, really far into a character. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. I have a few ideas but not 100% sure yet. We'll see. Don't know if I want to go with a contact hitter or another power hitter. But like I said, as I've said before, we will see. Anyway, so again, it's the gameplay here. Once again, we're going to take this ball to the outfield, but it's going to be caught by the center fielder. So Shields is working strong so far. He has us 0 for 2 on the day, and we're fast-forwarding to our next player's event. We're actually in left field for this one. Paul Mahalam is on the mound for the Kansas City Royals. Elliot Johnson, the man with the Tim Kirkchen impersonation, is at bad and I know he did not do the original one but I liked his it was pretty funny anyway I like anyone who impersonates Kirchner I like Tim Dillard's the most but anyway that would just prove to be a foul ball but I am just basically keeping this game play unedited because I didn't have time to up up uh, to edit down another you know Mandy being Manny episode so I figured I'd kind of show you his last career game almost I'm not officially retiring him you know I'll, I'll play him once in a while on live streams I'll keep the save file but don't really plan on playing MLB 12 the show too too much just because I, don't know, I got I hopped on it a little bit today which is Saturday September 22nd I don't know when this video is going to go up but anyway I hopped on the game a little bit today it was just really rusty and it wasn't really fun I just didn't enjoy it so anyway not going to be really playing too much more MLB 12 the show as it is let alone Manny being Manny I will continue the Royals franchise and I might start another one up on my own channel once I finish the SSX let's play because that would be a cool idea, I think. be nice to, you know, get a few videos like that out a week. Could do a couple teams. Try to, you know, I know two teams as we get into the winter would be kind of interesting. But anyway, we end up catching that ball there. So we're down 3-1 to one at the end of the seventh inning in the Trop. Tropicana Field, St. Petersburg. I know it's a really shitty stadium in real life, but I actually kind of like playing it in the game. It looks really nice. Uh, I would very, be very open to doing a Tampa Bay Rays franchise of sorts for MLB 13 the show. Just because I like the uniforms, I like their stadium, I like their talent. I mean, they have young shortstop, Hakju Leaves coming up in a few years. Most likely, they got two great pitchers in Jeremy Hellickson and Matt Moore to go along with David Price, who's locked up for a while. James Shields is solid. Uh, Alex Cobb, yeah. But anyway, if we can improve their hitting, they could be a deadly team. Desmond Jennings is pretty nice, actually. I think he's going to be good someday. But anyway, you can see there, Manny, he's going to ground out to the shortstop there. And that is going to end the game. James Shields with the complete game. We end up losing the final game of the 2013 regular season. So not the best game for Manny. He ends up over 4, but he made solid contacts in three of his four at-bats. Or was it two of his four at-bats? No, it was... I think it was three of his four at-bats. Can't really quite remember, but... Anyway, you know, we hit the ball well. We hit it hard. It was just right to the defenders, right to the outfielders, right to the fielders, I should just say. So, rough day, but... All well, an unceremonious ending to Manny's career. Now, we are going to go into his career stats and as well as where his career is going to take him after this season. 
So first off, you're going to see here, we're going to go to the locker room. You can see recent games, we're going to go to career stats. You can take a quick look at them there. Really, stats definitely were much better in his uh, first year. This could be partially because of Hidden and Fenway, but he also went through a huge slump in his second season around May to June. He just never really recovered. And that's at the point where I really stopped playing this series, to be quite honest. I was just getting frustrated. But anyway, fielding-wise, he had a couple more assists. We had a couple more stolen bases. But hitting-wise, we just did not do as well as we did in our rookie year, especially if you look at per at bat type numbers. But anyway, we're going to skip ahead now into the offseason. So you can see we're offered a seven-year, $17 million deal. We're going to lower that down to four years so that at the end of that contract, we can go test for agency. Maybe we'll sim a bit and just see what happens. But you're going to see here we're taking a long look at it, kind of just deciding, thinking what we're going to do here, what do we want to do, letting the screen kind of play out. And uh, you can see there. We're going to end up lowering it to four years, and we're going to kind of negotiate for a sec, but you're going to watch the negotiations as I will do my little outro here. So, anyway, it's really going to wrap up this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a hell of a series. I'll leave the link to the playlist in the description below. Twelve episodes from Double A to the Majors, from the Red Sox to the Royals, all of the above. But, yeah, it was a great series, and I can't wait for MLB 13 to show in, what, six months, five months? So that's going to be really fun. Can't wait to start a road to the show there. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. It does them out. Peace.